Nipple Pain for Health Workers. Nipple pain is common, but it is not normal. The pain can be severe. Sometimes the nipples may even crack and bleed. Nipples that are damaged can also let in germs and lead to a breast infection. This video will show how to evaluate and help mothers with nipple pain. Painful nipples are usually caused by a baby who is not well attached at the breast. This can be prevented by early attachment in the first hours after birth. When the baby is given the time to find the breast on her own, this will often result in good attachment. To prevent painful nipples, be sure all mothers in your care can attach their babies well before leaving for home. If nipple pain does start, help the mother as soon as possible. First, observe her breastfeeding. Here, we see that the baby's mouth is not wide open. She is taking only the nipple. The mother's fingers prevent the baby from taking more breast. The baby slips off the nipple easily and the mother feels pain. Guide the mother to remove her baby from the breast by placing a finger in a corner of the baby's mouth. Notice the shape of the nipple. A nipple that has been pinched against the hard roof of the baby's mouth will appear pointed instead of round. Explain to the mother that the tongue action of the baby rubs on her nipple and pinches it against the hard palate. This leads to sore and damaged nipples. The key to comfortable breastfeeding is for the baby to attach deeply on the breast. Taking a big mouthful of breast positions the nipple further back in the baby's mouth. Here, the nipple will be comfortable. In contrast to the nipple in a shallow attachment, which is pinched against the hard roof of the mouth, the baby will also get plenty of milk. Help the mother to attach her baby more deeply. Have her hold her baby close, facing her breast with the baby's body straight. She positions her baby's nose opposite her nipple. The baby will open her mouth when she smells milk. The mother waits patiently until the baby's mouth opens very wide, then moves the baby quickly onto her breast. The mother can gently compress her breast to get the milk flow started. Pulling her baby closer can also deepen the attachment. We see signs of better attachment. The baby's mouth is wide open. We see more of the areola above the baby's mouth than below. The baby's chin is touching the breast. And though we cannot see it, her lower lip should be turned outward. Now, her nipple is a normal shape compared to her nipple from when her baby was not attached well. Also, compare the signs of attachment. Before, her baby's mouth was almost closed. An equal amount of areola was seen above and below the mouth. The baby's chin was just touching the breast and her lower lip was turned inward. Now, her mouth is wide open. More areola is visible above the baby's mouth than below. The baby's chin is deep in the breast, so buried that we cannot see the bottom lip. 
Though the new positioning may take time to learn, this mother now understands breastfeeding can be comfortable and the key steps to attaching her baby better. In addition to attaching the baby deeply, here are a few other suggestions that can help with nipple pain. The mother can hand express to bring her milk before putting the baby to her breast. She can improve the attachment by pulling the baby in closer with her forearm. Breast compressions help the baby to get more milk faster, which will shorten the feed. And last, breast milk is healing to the nipples. Let it dry on the nipples after feedings and keep them open to air. Sometimes, nipples can be sore due to thrush. Check the baby's mouth for white patches on the inner cheeks and treat both mother and baby if found. If the mother is HIV infected, she should feed only from the healthy breast, not from a nipple that is cracked or bleeding. She can express and discard milk from the damaged breast until the nipple heals. The baby can then take both breasts again. Give the mother support and reassure her that painful nipples heal very quickly when the baby is attached well. Have her return if the pain continues. Remember, nipple pain is common, but it is not normal. Breastfeeding should be comfortable. Nipple pain can be prevented and treated by deep attachment. Position the baby so he takes a big mouthful of breast, not just the nipple.